Hello, my name is Jason Suggett. The title of my presentation is Meter Dose Inhaler with Valved Holding Chamber versus Dry Powder Inhalers Using Functional Respiratory Imaging to Assess Modeled Lung Deposition in an Asthmatic Patient. This study was done in collaboration between Trudell Medical International and Fluida, and I would like to disclose that I work for Trudell Medical International within Science and Technology. As background, both MDIs and DPIs can be used to deliver drugs to manage asthma. Valve holding chambers or spacers can be used to help patients with inhalation coordination of their MDIs. Inspiratory flow rate is known to influence drug delivery, and this FRI-based study assessed the modeled airway drug delivery from an MDI VHC system and two dry powder inhaler systems at optimal and suboptimal flow rates. The FRI technology itself is a combination of CT imaging and CFT modeling in order to get the predictions of drug depositions to the lungs. For this FRI study, three-dimensional geometries of airways and lobes were extracted from a CT scan of a 21-year-old male asthma patient. Drug delivery and airway deposition was modeled using FRI with measured particle and plume characteristics via the following devices. An aerochamber plus flow view spacer with MDI delivering Ventolin, Simbacort turbohaler dry powder inhaler delivering Fomoterol and Budesonide, and a serotide discus dry powder inhaler delivering Salmeterol and Fluticasone. Inhalation flow rates of 30 litres per minute and 60 litres per minute were modelled, 30 litres per minute being optimal for the MDI and suboptimal for the DPI and vice versa at 60 litres per minute. The model lung deposition results are shown in the chart below, expressed as a percentage of labelled dose using both optimal and suboptimal inhalation flow rates. So for the turbohaler, discus and MDI spacer combination. The images on this slide show both oropharyngeal and lung deposition for the three different delivery systems are both optimal and suboptimal breathing profiles. The FRI deposition profiles highlight that the MDI spacer system delivered an appreciably greater percentage of drug to the lung region than either of the two DPIs. It also shows significantly less oropharyngeal deposition compared to the two DPI systems as well. And the influence of inhalation flow profile was less with the MDI VHC system and differed between the two dry powder inhaler systems. 